I know you're gonna dig this. What's going on everybody? Here I am at the Highland Gardens Hotel, formerly the Landmark Hotel. This hotel has a lot of history, a lot of history. I'm gonna take you inside. I'm here with my friend Steve. Hi everybody. Your friend Steve from Tripping Down Memory Lane. Steve's trips down memory lane. Steve trips down memory lane. Or tripping down memory lane. That's usually what happens. <laughs> I think because I suggested tripping down because yeah. it sounded like, you know, like kinda, tripping, almost, tripping I out. I almost went with that, yeah. yeah. So you went inside already? I did. I was able, you know, because of traffic and everything, I got here so much earlier, and I wasn't really expecting that the owner would give me a tour, but he did. He was really fantastic, a really great guy. His name's Jack. He gave me a tour, told me all about the history. Unbelievable. I just thought Janis Joplin spent the night here. I didn't realize that Jim Morrison, Jimi Hendrix, uh, a lot of the people from uh, Jefferson Airplane, That's they crazy. all stayed here. And there's videos, they have, he has like a, um, a registry where everybody signed in so he knows what day they stayed here. That's really wild. Cool. That's it's wild. Really they know. Cool. And you're a huge Janice fan. I'm a huge Jim I fan. I love Janice. Well, I love Jimmy. I mean, Jim, I love Jimi Hendrix and Jim Morrison. Yeah, but, Jim Morrison. Yeah, man. Janice was, was my true love. I mean, that was my first concert was Janice. Right around the corner at the Hollywood Bowl. Your Hollywood first Bowl. concert was my right there. First, yeah. That's wild. She was my first, but I do also love all the others too. <laughs> who was my first concert? Yeah, who, who, was, who was your first? Well, I say it's Michael Jackson. Really? You saw J Michael Jackson? I saw concert? Michael Jackson when I was very little. I don't remember wow. much of it except being on my father's shoulders at one point. So he was a fan? They took me because I was a fan. Wow. I was little. That's cool. But they took me. But, really cool. but really, technically, my first concert, Dionne Warwick. I love Dionne Warwick. Now, but when I was a little kid, I was tiny. I was, remember turning you know my mother. back then? No, I was oh. like, Mom, this is boring. Yeah. This yeah. sucks. Because <laughs> I was into Michael Jackson, Duran Duran. I was like a little, you know. <laughs> And then I, now, in retrospect, I'm like, I saw Dionne Warwick. Yeah. That's Whitney's yeah. cousin. Well, you're so well-rounded now. It's amazing. I mean, the music that you like, from Liberace to, to Elvis uh, to Eminem. I mean, that's you're very, very well Yeah, I was listening to Liberace in my uh, car <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> I love it. When you first I love it. it. I couldn't believe it. I, was, I thought it was I love so his between-song banter. It's just, yeah. oh, man. <laughs> and then, have you seen uh, the movie... Um, Behind the Candelabra. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. great movie. Who are you talking to, Mumbles? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. All right, I'm gonna try to go inside. Who are you talking to, Mumbles? <laughs> I'm gonna try to go inside. Steve's gonna take off, but we'll see what happens if I get to go on a tour. If not, we're gonna you can watch Steve's crossed. video because he went inside, but I'm going inside. I think you'll get inside. We'll see. Yeah. All right, thanks, Steve. All right, bye. Good to see you again. Lobby smells incredible. With Jack, the owner of the Highland Garden Hotel, and this is Janice Joplin's room. There you go. Oh wow! As you can see, it's a really nice room, really big suite. It's got a kitchenette. So amazing, great view. That's Franklin Avenue here in Hollywood. Very, very busy all the time. Yeah. These rooms smell great. Everything smells great in this hotel. Thank you. And here's the famous closet. The famous closet, yeah. Yeah. And you, this is where people are allowed to leave their thoughts, right? You can open up this side. Do people come, obviously, from all over the world for this? Yeah, I bet, eh? Rest in peace, Paul Child. Yes, we miss you. And is this room pretty much booked all the time? Pretty much. Yeah. But people can take their chances, right? And yeah. 
You never know. Yeah. Even now, you're right beside. You need to stay in another room. You're close enough to the famous dance job and suite. It's more like a suite. Oh, Lord, won't you buy me a night on the town? And people leave a boa. Southern Comfort, which was her favorite drink. Dude, oh, wow, look at that drawing there. That's incredible. 2014, 2014, 2018, yeah. Yeah, the inside of Janice Joplin's hotel room. Here it is, right here. This is where sadly she passed away. Taking a, she took a bad strain of heroin that killed about 10 more people that day, I believe. And in around the Hollywood area, and Janice was one of the casualties. And this is uh, where people come to pay their respects to the amazing Janis Joplin. Well, if you're gonna come stay here, which I really highly suggest you do, don't forget to check out that closet. So, back when Janis stayed here, the bed was at a 45 degree angle, coming from the wall there. A lot of this is original, the bed's obviously not, the carpet's not painted, but there's a lot of original stuff still in this room. But the bed was at a 45 degree angle, Janis sadly passed away right here. Right there. But if we go into the kitchen, you can see a lot of it is new with the fridge, the stove, a microwave. But these are the original cabinets. Everything about them, even the handles, are the same handles that were here when Janice stayed here. All original. Isn't that crazy? So these are all original. And the closet that we spoke about is the original closet. So Janice Joplin put her fingers right here to slide this open and to hang up all her amazing clothes because she has style. And the heater is the exact same. This heater has been here since the 50s. The hotel was built in 1955 and the current owners have owned it since 1975. So a few years after Janice passed away in 1970. But yeah, this is Janice Joplin's room right here. Highly recommend if you're going to come to Hollywood, this is a great location. You are so close to everything within walking distance. And they've got a nice little parking lot on the back. Put your car, and then you walk everywhere. It's a really incredible, incredible place to be. There used to be a diving board here, and her band was jumping in the water, horsing around, while Janice just relaxed on the lounge chair right there. I'm geeking out right now because there's so much music history here. And not only that, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous little hotel. And I've always just passed it on the street and never stopped. And now I'm so glad I did because it is absolutely beautiful. This little courtyard, like just imagine sitting up there, not even the 60s or 70s, imagine sitting up there right now in 2019 and enjoying the sun of, of look at the palm trees around. I have all of a sudden, this has become a travel video, a travel channel. Stay at the Highland Gardens. Where all your rock star dreams can come true. You can be a rock star too. If you dream a little dream. No wait, that's the wrong artist. You get what I'm saying. Isn't this gorgeous? So as I was just saying about sitting on one of these chairs and overlooking the pool. You can get a whole suite. Look at this place. Look at how gorgeous this is. This is the original size from back in the day. It's obviously been extensively remodeled inside. Very up to date. Look at that. Bathroom. And then a bathroom, bedroom, whoa, bedroom in the back. But they're changing right now, so. Yeah, oh, original heater too. Yeah. Incredible. Original flat screen from the 60s. Right. Of course. <laughs> Very nice. 
Look at that couch. You don't have to go in the bedroom to sleep. You just crash on that couch. Couches are more comfortable than beds. Yeah, yeah and you got that view. So here I am going back into uh, the first floor. On my right here is gonna be Janice's room, where we just were inside. And then right here is Jim Morrison's room. Now the owner, Jack, was a great guy. May 29th to 31st, 1967, told me that Jim stayed here when there was a fire at his place over on Rothdale Trail, where I've shown you before, the Love House, which is on one of my other videos. You can check that out. And he stayed here when there was a small fire there back in 1967. And right down here, Paul Kantner from Jefferson Airplane stayed in this room, May 25th, 1968. Now it's odd that they would have the exact dates written down. Usually you just have, if they're going to put a plaque, it's just a year, places like this. But the owner has the original sign-in book from the 60s. And he still has it. It's at his house, unfortunately, today. He didn't bring it. But... Uh, so it's got all the dates of all the bands and artists that have stayed here. I mean, the Moody Blues, Jimi Hendrix, Jim Morrison, Janis Joplin, Paul Kantner, somebody else. Now I'm going to show you a famous wall here where there's a bunch of celebrities that have stayed here. They're all on the wall. Then famous people have filmed here. And what else? Uh, done photo shoots. Really cool. There's a documentary called Supermensch about Shep Gordon, produced by my boy Mike Myers. And Shep Gordon was a big uh, talent agent, musical agent, back in the 70s. He's still, still going, but I don't know if he's still working. But he represented Alice Cooper, and he had an office here. And he watched that documentary super much. And not only did he sell talent, he sold a little something else out of here back in the day. Drugs. A lot of drugs. And he had an office right here that was always full of smoke because people were coming in here to buy the drugs, smoke a little weed. And then maybe get a music contract, but right back here in an office. All right, now I'm gonna show you something cool outside around the back. And I believe this house, I think this is the one right here, was in Greenberg with Ben Stiller. And they built a hole in the fence because the hotel is right behind it. So they set up base camp just behind the house. Base camp is where like catering is and where the trailers are. And they built it right down in there but I believe this is the house from Greenberg, right here. And then inside the Landmark Hotel, which is Highland Gardens now, they uh, filmed a couple of scenes in one of the rooms for Greenberg. But I believe this is the house. Now I could be wrong, this could be a whole thing I'm gonna have to edit out, but I'm, yeah, I believe so. I'm normally uh, pretty on it with filming locations. But I was just talking to the owner and I said I knew Greenberg was, had something to do with here and he said you knew all about it right away. And he said that the house is right here. So yeah, this is the house, I'm almost positive. Very cool. All right, I'm gonna take you back to the hotel and show you a few other cool things in there. So I went through the movie Greenberg quickly to see if I could find some outside shots of the house. Unfortunately, I couldn't, but I didn't go all the way through it. And usually I like to put up screenshots, as you know. But what I did was I took an aerial view from Google Maps, and you can see that circular pathway behind Ben Stiller in the other shot I put in. And also that pool matches up exactly with the pool that's seen in the backyard in the film. So that's definitely where they filmed it. Absolutely gorgeous day. This is Hollywood. Now, Hollywood is a city itself inside Los Angeles, if you didn't know that. And there's some sketch areas as with any city, all the studios aren't really located in Hollywood anymore. They're in Burbank, Culver City. Uh, some are, Paramount is still in Hollywood. What else? Yeah, a few other ones. Uh, I can't remember which other ones right now, but that's not important. We're here for the Highland Gardens Hotel. But yeah, there's a lot of old Hollywood history in this area. Like within walking distance, you can go see a million things that have to do with Music, movies, TV, all over the place. If you're into that, which if you're watching my channel, you probably are. Yeah, this is it. I'm just walking down a really cool little street in Hollywood with that sun, and it's awesome. And I'm glad that you're here with me. You're right here. Well, here, under the wing. I got you. So this is the outside of the hotel. 
this is what you'll see as you're driving along Franklin here in Hollywood. Now, Janice's room would have been from the outside if you're driving by. I believe one, two, three. Wait, one, two. I believe that's Janice's room right there. Yeah, one, two. Now I'm getting confused. That's her room. So it's got the kitchen on that side. Yeah, very cool. So I'll tell you something else about the back area that's interesting. Just gotta remember which door to open. And just to show you a few of the people that have come here. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds has stayed here for a long time. Ed O'Neill, Ron Perlman's family stays here a lot. Uh, Andy Dick was just here recently and he stays here a lot. Ron Jeremy, if you know who Ron Jeremy is, uh, he stays here, his family stays here a lot. Now, a lot of these people here have stayed. Jerry, Jay Baruchel, famous uh, Canadian actor. Brad Pitt stayed here. Ellen and Portia did a photo shoot here. Tyrese did a photo shoot here. Daryl Hanna did one here. Evan Rachel Wood for Mademoiselle Magazine. Ben Stiller, right in the middle for Greenberg. And then right beside Ben Stiller, right there, that's a Canadian actress named Malin Ackerman. And she's been in so much. She was in The Heartbreak Kid with Ben Stiller, actually, which is a great underrated movie. And she filmed part of a TV show here that you may have heard of, but I watched and I didn't realize it was here. I'm gonna show you the back where they were filming that. Right now. Oh, and. Gallagher, but they don't allow smashing of fruit here on premises. Do not smash fruit. There was a show called Camp Hollywood. Now, I'm not sure how long ago that show was made, but it was uh, about Canadian actors trying to make it in uh, LA during pilot season, and they filmed a lot of it here. This is where they set up all the actors to be staying. And they filmed that reality show right here. And they party by the pool, hang out on the balcony. And of course, they're Canadian, so there was a lot of drinking and a lot of partying, because that's what Canadians do, especially younger Canadians at that age, here in Hollywood, waiting around for your next audition. What else are you gonna do? You're gonna party, go room to room, and drink, and say a lot of bad words like, and, sh and A. Like, how inviting does that pool look? I need to jump in a pool right now. Okay, I'm gonna show you something else upstairs. So up here, this is the second floor. There's another room where Jim Morrison used to stay. Now I believe it's marked, I'm not sure, but it's up here somewhere. Here it is. Jim Morrison stayed in this room, August 3rd to 5th, 1967. Wow. Jim Morrison's room. Let's take a look around while I'm up here. See what this leads to. We are now in the back hallway of the Highland Gardens Hotel. I almost fell in the back of the hotel. I never learned how to walk properly. Oh, wow. Yeah, so here, this would have been, this is what he was telling me about Jack Dylan. This is where they set up base camp, right down in here. And then they had the fence open here. They made a, so they could get in and out here. Oh, well, there's a little entryway. I guess they had it open because it's permanently locked. But yeah, so they can get in and out really fast. They had some big trucks parked right here, just in this little small area. And catering all set up back here, he said. That's really cool.
All right, so that's it from the Highland Gardens Hotel. I'm sure there's other things I'm forgetting about that have been done here, like it's overwhelming. I wanna thank Jack, the owner, for showing me around. That was awesome. Give me a lot of information about this place. It's a lot to take in. This hotel has so much history. I can't stress how much and rock and roll history all here. And sadly, the location where Janice passed away. But you, you know, come here for the, for the vibe, for the feel, for the excitement of being right in Hollywood. It's a low key day, it's quiet, but this area at night gets jumping. And I wanna say a big shout out to Becca, Karen, Gerilyn, Stacy, all my flower girls, I know you like this sort of thing. And my man, Kevin, back in Aurelia, all my Patreon supporters so far. I've got some amazing videos coming for you. I can't wait to get back to Toronto later next week. Uh, yeah, next week I'll be back and I'm gonna start uploading Patreon only videos for you guys to see and little behind the scenes stuff and various locations. And I got one big one that you really like. I went to a really cool place and I'm only gonna put on Patreon. Because I so value the support you give me. I love it. And it's just, it's heartwarming. And it helps me go on, literally. And to everyone else, I love you just as much. Thank you for watching. And what better place to say peace than here. So peace. Out. From the Highland Gardens. In Hollywood. What? Yep.